Hey everybody, Caleb Denison for Digital Trends, and I'm here at Hisense's booth a little bit before the show floor actually opens so we can actually look at these TVs before they get mobbed by tons of people. And I do think that Hisense is going to get mobbed this year because they're bringing some technologies that you won't see from anyone else, and that's not hyperbole. These are legitimate technologies that only Hisense has developed. So I want to start with this right here. This is a 75-inch 8K television. Of course, we're seeing a lot of 8K TVs. What's different is how this TV produces a picture. So standard backlight systems involve a few LEDs and they go through a diffuser and the backlighting is really blocky. This is completely different. Uh, the circuit board itself are the micro LEDs sitting behind the panel. And because of that, they are able to have 86,016 individual little lights at work. Those are little pinpoints of light that give you remarkable control over contrast and color and, and uh, black level. You also have uh, 5,376 individual dimming zones. So when we talk about getting a really great deep black level with really good contrast and great shadow detail out of a LED TV, this is a technology that's never been used before. And uh, we're looking at 4K test footage that's being upscaled to 8K. Hisense's upscaling is a little bit different too. So they're not just looking uh, at uh, individual frames and optimizing it based on what they think the object is. They're looking at it pixel by pixel and upscaling each individual pixel to 8K resolution. And uh, I think it's doing a great job. Subjectively, looking at test footage I've never seen before, I'm impressed. But what's really important here is that Hyacinth is exploring technologies, approaches to doing things that nobody else is doing right now. And that's innovation. Here's another example of something I've never seen before. In fact, I don't think I ever would have thought to do it. So what we have here is an example of how a backlight system might typically work on an LED TV. This is the, the zones that we talk about of backlighting. And you can see right now, you can't tell what it is. It's very blocky. And that's why you typically get pretty poor black levels, some halo around bright objects on a, on a dark screen, because you have these huge chunks of light going around what's supposed to be a very succinct line. So what Hisense has done is that it's totally remarkable. So they've taken a 1080p panel and sandwiched it with a 4K panel, and they're using the 1080p panel to create a grayscale version of the image. Follow me here. So this is the backlight, essentially. And what that does is it goes through the color filter and pops out on the other side an almost perfect replication of the image without all that big blockiness that you would get from a backlight. And the result is this. As you can see here, this is a normal looking TV. It produces excellent colors, but look at the black levels that we're seeing on this TV compared to the one next to it. This is ULED XD from Hisense. It's a completely different way of backlighting a TV, and I can't wait to see where they take this. Okay, so those are some really cool future technologies that we're gonna see coming from Hisense later, but what about a TV that you can buy in the US this year? Here's the thing, Hisense's best hasn't been available in the US market. Most of that has been kept for China. That changes this year, and we're seeing examples of it, three of them right behind me. So what we have here is the H8F series. This is the bang for your buck series. So you're gonna get 700 nits of peak brightness. It uses phosphor-coated LEDs, so it does have expanded color gamut. It supports all the major HDRs, and it's a remarkably good value. So you're looking at about 399 at the 50 inch, and it goes up from there. These use Android TV OS, but there is a Roku version that you can get, a 55 inch Roku version that's available for 599. When you talk about having over 60 zones of local dimming uh, with expanded color gamut in a TV of that price, that's just straight up remarkable. If you wanna step up a little bit more and get a whole lot more performance for your money, then you might wanna look at the H9F series. This has up to 1,000 nits of peak brightness with 132 zones. Again, all of the major HDRs are covered, and this is where you get into the premium UHD. This is legit HDR uh, with really, really intense highlights, and they do a great job of improving the off-angle performance with a really slick little panel structure that actually shoots off eight different versions of the color pixels in every direction. So you get the performance of an IPS panel where you can see it from a wide angle, but you retain the color and the brightness. It's really smart. But if you want the best that Hisense is gonna offer in the US, you wanna look at the 75U9F. It's only available in a 75 inch version. 
It's $3,500, which is definitely getting into the premium tier, but it comes with the premium performance that you would expect. Up to 2,000 nits of brightness, over 1,000 local dimming zones. It's a native 120 hertz panel, all of the HDRs, also runs Android TV OS. And here's something else that's pretty slick about Hisense's TVs. If you opt in, if you let them do this, they'll capture a little bit of information about the genre of stuff that you're watching. And rather than switch the picture mode to sports or game or cinema, it will automatically do that for you based on whatever it is you're watching. So you switch on golf, it's gonna switch to the sports mode so that you have really smooth motion for those fast moving scenes. If you turn on a movie, it'll switch into cinema mode so that you get really great three, two pull down and it looks really cinematic. That's a lot to unpack. What Hisense is doing is they're bringing new premium technologies that we haven't seen before and they're bringing new value to television to the US that we also hasn't seen before. And that's a success story in the making. We've seen this happen with other companies like TCL. I think Hisense is really poised to do something big in the US this year.